Well, hey, everybody. Well, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building the brackets for the front spindles. And I'm going to be building them a lot like what I did on the A cart here. Like that. This size right here. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be cutting the top and bottom of these uh, brackets and they're going to be at two and one quarter and then the side is going to be two and seven eighths and they'll be welded like this on the ends of the two and seven eighths one these will be welded on the ends not the other way around not this side not on the inside here they'll be welded on top and on the bottom so that's what we're looking at all right so got those all welded up and everything um, and what I'm gonna be doing here is I'll be sticking them on like that oh wait no that's the wrong caster this way so we'll be putting it on like that probably I don't know. I don't want to go straight up and down. i got to put some caster in it. So I'm going to say, I don't know, maybe 5, 10 degrees caster. I guess that'd probably be decent enough. So, yeah. And I'm not going to be welding directly in the middle either. I want the tire to have a little bit of, a uh, little bit of, raise the cart up a little bit more. So instead of welding directly in the middle, I'm going to bring this down slightly. And then when I weld the bolt on, or yeah the the bolt that's going to hold the tire on that's going to be set down lower too so that's going to help raise the actual tire or the the bottom of this up away from the ground further i'm using some uh some coffee cans to hold this up tell you what coffee cans are a great source of stuff what are you doing cat ashley meow 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 like this warm weather, huh, kitty? Huh? Ashley, look at me. Yeah, look at me. Oh, <laughs> you know. Oh, you, you, you got all over you. Yeah, you just rubbed yourself all up in the dirt and stuff, didn't you, cat? Huh. Okay. Okay, got the holes drilled. Like a glove. <laughs> oh, does it go straight up and down through there? Yeah, sure looks like it. Uh, we're a little off. Okay, maybe I'm not that awesome. But hey, I'm sure it's going to work. Half inch. Half inch bolt, and it is, uh, I think it's, uh, how, how long is this bolt? Well, this bolt is as long is long enough to go through the bracket, okay? <laughs> okay, well, the bolt is four and a half inches long. The inside is two and a little off from two and seven eighths. Let me see how close I can get before you guys get annoyed by it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's a little, it's a little bit larger than two and seven eighths. But that's all right. What about this one? Check this one out. Sit down and talk. Okay, let's see here. And we'll let you know the mortgage loan range for which you could get right up close to it. Pre approval is a great first step to help you start looking at homes within your price range. Wells Fargo. Together we'll go far. A priority buyer pre approval is not. It looks like it's close enough to two and seven eight. Wells Fargo Home Mortgage is a division of Wells But okay, whatever. Yeah, so there they are. Now I gotta figure out their placement on the cart. Or trite thingy out there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do here is I going I'm not gonna be welding these directly in the center of the axle, or I should say the support of the of the go-kart. Um, what I did is I measured down three quarters of an inch from the top and made that white dot. This white dot right here. I then since I want to put a 10 degree caster in it, took my protractor here, went up, and did the 10 degrees. Alright, so, what 
when we go to put this on I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it but I will line that line that line up with the top of the steel here I don't know if you guys can see that or not but I'll line it up with that and then I'll tack weld that in place and that will give me my 10 degree caster oh, it's moving on me here that'll give me my 10 degree caster now I didn't center this the reason I'm not centering this in the middle like that is because by moving this down and the bolt that's going to go on the spindle here on my kingpin here the bolt will not be centered either the bolt will be moved down about a half an inch also so by this being brought down a half inch the bolt being brought down a half an inch it will raise the cart by one inch by doing that so I don't have to go out and buy bigger tires I can just move my spindle placements adjust this stuff and that will raise it up by an extra inch so looking good hmm. okay well I got the spindle or the spindle brackets welded on there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be cutting uh, the spindle parts that are going to go inside of here that the bolt will be welded onto and I'm going to cut those at two and three quarters uh, then I'll be able to put uh, washers inside there so that way it rotates easier instead of having just raw iron against iron it's going to be you know, have some stuff inside there too some washers to help it slide when, it, when I turn so I'm going to cut these at two and three quarters Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using. I got three quarter inch outer diameter 0 .120 DOM, and that is what will be for the spindle. Cut it two inches and two and three quarters inches yeah okay so here we go okay so I cut two of these for my spindles and they are two and three quarters inches long and I already got done uh, grinding them use some sandpaper cutting the inside now I'm just cleaning out the inside of them don't want to be transferring all that gunk and crap off into the actual spindles themselves because then that stuff just sits in there, grinds away at the at the bolt and just makes it much more smoother in there. So that was pretty neat. Okay. Well, all nice and clean. Now, it's time to get my bolts and set them up on here and then I'll grind out a notch so these will fit inside them on the head. Okay, so we got that on there. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting in the Ackerman turning angle into this. And remove the axle stuff right there, put this axle right over where the pillow block bearings would be at whether the axle is in that spot or uh, an inch or so down if the pillow block bearings were actually still installed it's not going to matter <laughs> so since the axle is right there and we need to take this and line it up that way I need to figure out what that angle is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of paper here and I'm going to draw a right angle on here and uh, hook the tape measure up to the axle or the magnet and then we'll figure out what the angle is there okay so I measured in between there and it's five and one sixteenth because the total width of this is ten and an eighth so I stuck my neodymium magnet underneath there and stuck my tape measure to that now I'm going to measure or not measure actually just it's, we're just looking for an angle here and I put my oh geez. 
Okay, so I drew my right angle on here. Now I can't do this with, I have to do this with two hands. So I'm going to put my right angle in there. I'm at the point of there, and then I'm going to take my tape measure and figure out what my angle is going back there. So, i got to put the camera down. Okay, so this looks like that's the angle there. Tape measure a little twisted at the end there, so the angle is going to be slightly off. But a few degrees on something like this is no big deal. So, now i got to do is connect that together and then start working on my tie rod connections and that section of the of the spindle okay well i just me measured this angle and it looks like it's a 20 degree angle and it actually stops at 21 but screw it 20 is good enough so that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to drill a uh oh my phone's ringing <laughs> Oh, gotta go by. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to be doing here is, since we know that that's a, that's roughly about a 20 degree angle, which is decent enough, I'm going to be drilling a three quarter inch hole and a five sixteenths inch hole uh, for my tie rod connector because my tie rod I'll probably use five sixteenths. Um, so let's see here, what else? Um, I'm going to be cutting a piece that's going to be four inches long. So I got this piece of quarter inch flat stock and it's two inches wide. And um, I'm going to be using that. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Okay, so since I got to transfer this over to this piece of steel, it's two inch flat stock and it's quarter inch thick wait no that's three sixteenths but either way whether it's three sixteenths or quarter inch it doesn't really matter it's still thick enough to handle what the job that it's going to be doing so I measured in a half inch and a half inch up so a half inch in and a half inch up put a dot that's where my three quarter inch bit will make a hole Okay. So, since I know that it's a 20 degree angle, I adjust my protractor and I will set it on there and I will line up the dot because I already know that this is 20 degrees. So now I'll just draw a line out and then measure. I'm going to measure up actually three inches and then straight over and then put a dot in line with this dot at 20 degrees and that's going to be my Ackerman and that's where I'm going to drill my 5 8 inch hole so and then I'll be doing a few other little things to this too so I'll show you I measured in my half inch up a half inch put the dot put, put my angle in um, with my protractor and then measured up four or three inches and then drew straight across the line straight across and that right there is where I'm going to put my 5 16 inch drill bit put a hole right there and my three quarters inch bit right there voila alright well I got the holes drilled just the pilot holes for right now and what I decided to do is I put both plates together left and right side of the cart and I uh, just put this use this little clamp and then I just stuck it in the drill press and then just drilled both holes right through both plant both plates yep now it's time to create some geometry to this thing I think what I'm gonna do is measure out an inch come up so far and then angle it like I did with the A cart. So I'll show you here. All right. Well, what I'm going to do here is I drew an inch straight across, and I came up I think three inches. I think. No, not three. Obviously not three. Two. So I went up two inches, and then just drew another line, eyeballed all that, 
from here up to here, roughly make it make it about a the same distance as an inch from here and over to here. I didn't draw this side over here because the clamp's in the way, but I think I'm going to leave all this material on here, and you'll find that out later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill, 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 or maybe I'll just cut it, I don't know. But I'll do something, I'll get all this material out of here. Alright everybody, well, so I think what I'm going to do is, it's getting kind of late right now, so I think what I'm going to do is wait till tomorrow to install this and put the three quarter inch um, drill here, and or the hole here, and then just uh, cut this out. So I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow to actually install this. So I'll be doing a video, throwing out a video also for tomorrow. Alright people, well, take it easy, and uh, I'll talk at you later.